Hello Pisces and welcome now to Hump Day. Sunny and self-reflective today for the fishies. The moon is in Scorpio. Putting emotional focus now on your learning. You are self-reflective today. You are out of the intimacy transit of the moon in Libra. Things have kind of taken sides today. You have more boundaries in place and you are reflecting on your life. This is the time where I tend to walk around my apartment thinking about what if. What if this happens? What if that happens? What if she falls in love with me? What if I have two more kids? What if? It is you self-reflecting on your life basically learning about what you have lived the last 30 days. We get this transit once a month, every month, and if you want to write it down, it's when the moon is in Scorpio for Vu. Zip into the sun, Venus is ruling the day. That's the creation vibration. We're in chapter one of sun in Aquarius, and as you well know, the Pisces are facing the weeds in their soul garden this month. Now with Venus ruling the day, today's the day that will restore balance and order. So if it's been a rough ride since last Friday, I do predict things will kind of come to a nice, balanced, cool, mundane. This is a time of healing. So if you self-sabotage in a bad way to learn about where a weed is, today you can heal. Okay? Today you can restore balance, today you can heal. Today you really want to love yourself, and today is a day where you will connect to the universe a lot stronger than usual, because at the end of the day, God is love. Seriously. That's what it is. So look for the love today. And if you're feeling bad and you're hurting, we'll do something you love or eat something you love or hang out with someone you love. Love will heal it today. Love dominates the day. And Saturn, good news, the pressure is off. Saturn is retrograde. Oh my God, I'm so happy for this. I don't like Saturn. I like Capricorns, but I don't like Saturn. Saturn, as you know, is a disciplinarian planet of the universe. It forces us to learn. It's the big teacher. But when it retrogrades, we get a break. We get to go home and self-study. And when it comes to trust and intimacy and boundaries and comfort zones, Pisces get a break until mid-June. So you will be on a break until mid-June with having to learn new trust and intimacy issues. This means trust and intimacy will be an internalization. It will not come from someone betraying you. It will not come from someone stealing from you. It will not come from someone cheating on you. It will come from you and your lessons inside of you and very privately. So for the next six months, between now and June, you'll be reflecting on the last six months, what you've learned so far, and how you want to change your life. And it's Wednesday. I have Skip Jennings, Urban Mystic, going live today. Chapter 2 of Sun and Aquarius. Skip is going to give us a nice positive spin on the aqua vibration. Of course, everything he teaches today will be of assistance to you when it comes to fighting the weeds in your soul garden and facing your demons. Skip will give you a positive affirmation and a saving day challenge everywhere soul garden streams. All right, Pisces, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow, the planet is a Pisces day. Until then, live, love, be. So God.